Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Prophecy of Pindor. In this episode, as you can see right now, we are besieging the last town of the Empire, which is Shaz. And uh, I think this is going to be a little bit challenging because there's a lot of lords, a lot of lords sitting here. So uh, yeah, let's, let's hope we can do it and finish the Empire once and for all. Actually, this siege layout is... Uh, uh, I can't quite remember it. It's not the best, but yeah, it's okay. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Another one down. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> I forgot that this uh, town has the Shadow Legion Centurions. And these guys are so OP. So, yeah, we have to take care. Let's get a little bit sneaky and kill this guy before he gets us. And, oh, okay, at least he's down. <laughs> and they are charging, of course. And, uh, yeah, we will be facing a lot of these um, Shadow Legion Centurions. <laughs> they have been using a lot of javelins. Let's try this Ebony uh, Flamberg sword. This is actually a really, really decent sword because uh, because of its speed mainly. It's much better than, than the one we are using. But it's a cutting damage, not, not piercing. So yeah, let's let's give it just a try. I think speed is, is, uh, is important in this situation that we are facing right now. Yeah. This is not a very high T2, but we will try it on this guy. Come on. And he got away. Okay. There is a lot of knights here. Empire knights, immortals, and of course, Shadow Legion. <laughs> now we start losing some of our troops. <laughs> because of these guys. I know that this is this is kinda annoying for anyone watching, but <laughs> I think this movement of the cursor and uh, the camera in general is uh, kind of beneficial that it adds a little bit bonus uh, speed bonus to the swing of the weapon these guys are really tricky but we will get them yeah Ye now I got you and this guy is down this guy is down and the last one is down not, not quite yet but yeah it's okay. <laughs> Let's get more arrows before we jump in here. <laughs> Is that a bar fight? <laughs> I don't see any signs of siege fights. It's it's just so messy here. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, this weapon is so fast that it's 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 really nice in sieges in situations like this. But sometimes it's it's still very long. But yeah, I think it's a good thing. Let's get a little bit sneaky. And uh, by getting a little bit sneaky, meaning that we will end our career by our own hands. My man! You know how it goes. You've been watching for a while now. Yes! And... Uh, no, this is not good. Bye bye. And some of them are aiming at me, which is not cool, bro. Not cool. Come on. Yeah. Gotcha. And you. Uh, come on. Nope. And gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. I think I need to be a little bit, a little bit cautious here. And they spawn. But no one is aiming at me, which is really good. Now we can fight from behind. Yeah. Yeah, no. Attaboy. Attaboy. I wanna be a cowboy, baby. <laughs> this is an iron circus centurion. I'm quite sure about that. He's using... Oh. He's using the Morning Star 
And this is the end. Okay, that, that, that was really good actually. We have killed more than 500 and we lost only 6. Which is really, really fine with me. And uh, yeah, I think it's, it's completely worth it. Alright, we have lost only 9 in total. Which is actually great in such a siege where we have killed more than 600. Yeah, that, that was actually really, really good. And uh, yeah, let's fight in the street. And of course, we will be facing some knights and some shadow legions, isn't you? Oh, I got him in one hit. That was impressive. I don't care what you think, but that was impressive. Uh, and now let's try and get this iron. Oh, oh man, that hurts. This guy is so tough. It's, it's not even funny, man. I'm gonna do what's called a pro gamer move, and I'm not hitting anyone. <laughs> like, at least I got that iron circle thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm alive. I'm still alive. Yeah! That was good. That was nice with me. And, uh... Wow. Yeah. Let's fight in the castle. And this is the end of the Empire. <laughs> Actually... <laughs> We are still fighting some really high tier troops here. Empire and uh, the Fritz Vein Knight, which is the Harasser. And yeah. What are you doing, guys? Okay. Okay. We are good. We are really good, actually. And uh, some of the guys will escape, of course. This is a sadistic, my prisoner. Uh, Pitilis. I think this is a powerful guy, but we don't need him. Various Legatus, we definitely need that guy, but we will set him free so that he may ask us uh, to join, you know. Uh, Agathon Legatus, this is, this is a very powerful guy, we will definitely re re recruit him. Lord Dion, I don't need you, cunning. And, uh, oh, there's three good-natured and upstanding lords in this faction, which is really impressive. And the king escaped, of course. Bad-tempered, my prisoner, and uh, this guy coming free to go. Uh, marshal, we may actually recruit that guy. Another marshal, we also may recruit that guy, which is really good. And, uh... Hmm. Pretty nice loot, considering that we uh, had a huge advantage uh, because of our numbers. And uh, we actually have more space because of uh, inventory management, of course. So that, uh, yeah, we can take more loot. Perfection. This is the true definition of OCD. <laughs> But I really love to, to keep everything in place. Okay, let's take some more. And, uh, yeah, I think we are good to go here. Everything is fine. And look at that. There's a lot of decent troops. All of these will be Cobra Warriors. And I will be giving all of them to my Lords. So they become even more powerful than that. I'll try not to leave any high tier troops here. Because, uh, you know, sometimes they don't take it. And uh, it's hurting me, actually. Actually, this is a very, very good prisoner pool after this battle. Considering that we only lost uh, like 9 troops, which is not a big deal at all. The Pagus Empire is no more. Yes, I knew that. I knew that. Okay, can we recruit lords? Not quite yet, but uh, we need to give it 
some time, just a little bit more time. Uh, okay, what we want to do here? We need, uh, I don't know. I still haven't given the sword to any of my companions, which I need to think about it. And uh, yeah, let's take Shaz so that we can loot the chest, you know. And I think I'm gonna keep it for myself because of these uh, Shadow uh, Shadow Legion Centurions, you know. They are quite decent. Well met. Uh, yeah, I began repairs. Okay, let's have a look at this. Okay, two horses. <laughs> And the two of them are stubborn. We've gathered quite a decent amount of these books, and uh, I think I'm gonna try to be friending the Eventides, the Knights of Eventide, I mean. But yeah, whatever. Let's uh, speak with this guy, take the baggage train, and then I will train all of my empire uh, knights into uh, these Shadow Legion Centurions. Yes, 13 Shadow Legion Centurions. This is great, absolutely great. Together with the Knights of the Phoenix, this force will be undestructible. Really. Yeah, let's move on. I think we are good to go. There is a lord imprisoned here. And uh, I think, I think he belongs to the Empire. So uh, I think if we uh, manage to break him free, he will offer joining us. Which uh, will be good if he's a marshal or upstanding. We will see. Uh, this guy's a marshal. But we are not very friendly with that guy. But yeah, let's uh, set him free. And then we will see if he will join us. Yeah, definitely he belongs to the Empire. Uh, now, let's prepare. Bye-bye. Attaboy, attaboy. Wow, this is so easy. This is so easy. I'm gonna humiliate this guy by... Uh, hmm, okay, not this guy. Maybe the last guy. I will be humiliating him by killing him with the lance. It's only game. Why you have to be mad? I don't care what you think. I will be killing him with the lance. Hey, yeah. Go away! Ooh, overhead! That was really skillful. Yeah. <laughs> and he asked to join us. He's a marshal, so yeah, of course, of course, we will accept that guy. We need more lords. Okay, yeah. Uh, Sir Jocelyn is back, and uh, let's see. I hope it's something good. What is that? What the fuck? No change in strength and agility. This is not cool, bro. Uh, Iron Flash by 3 and Shield by 3. This is really good. And Riding to 7. This is actually really decent. Uh, what about these guys? 3 in strength and 2 agility. This is actually really good. Riding to 2. I don't care. But Shield by 4. This is really impressive. And, uh, yeah, actually, uh, that was quite decent, uh, except for the knights. But, yeah, we can uh, accept that. Holy moly. <laughs> of course, we will be refusing, like, half of these guys. But before accepting anyone, I need to give some land for the lord that just joined us. Because, uh, yeah. He's a marshal, so we need to give him at least three lands before anything else. Uh, 
I think I'm gonna leave actually all of the towns uh, for only good natured and uh, upstanding lords. So, yeah, we will keep giving them, giving all of them actually castles and only castles. Uh, another dispute, yeah, let's resolve that. And it's actually quite easy to resolve this uh, dispute if you ask them to follow you, uh, like in, in a campaign or something. Uh, okay, I, I will probably cut this, because, uh, yeah, it may take some time arranging all of these lords to their lands. Uh, okay, only three guys left. And he switched to the Shar! Again, another one switched to the Shar. And this guy... <laughs> also to the Shar. Uh, this is gonna be... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All of them are converting to the Shar. And actually, the Dashar is, is uh, growing very powerful lately. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. But, at least we've got a couple of good lords who will be joining us and helping us on the long run. And this is actually the only thing that I care for. So yeah, overall that was pretty cool. I think that will be it for this episode. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs>